Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling is in I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to continue to continue to continue to talk about the Zim Neo, Zim 9 mini site. So let's go to the site now at zimjs.com. We have a bit of a new look here, and the logo up top features Zim Neo, Zim 9. And when we click that, or you can go into the, you can go into the uh, examples and find it there as well. If our logo has changed, it may have changed in time. Depending, if you're seeing this in the future, am I talking to people in the future? Oh, you're so lucky you're in the future. Wow. Hopefully I'll be there too. <clears throat> All right. We've talked about the top um, set of tabs here. We've talked about how to build the Zimneo thing. We looked at controls and we just looked at extra. Now we'll take a look at a drag, uh, how we can drag along a path. So it's like, whoa, what? We can drag an animation? So that's actually not just scrubbing it with a, uh, with a, a, a bar or a slider or whatever, or the mouse move. This is actually picking up something and dragging it along a path or dragging the animation. And that looks like this. So there it is. And we pick it up and I just threw it backwards, whoosh, throwing it forwards. A boink and a boom. Isn't that fun? It doesn't have to animate. We can pick it up. And with Zim Extra, or yeah, I suppose we could use Zim Extra. We can treat this as a as a, um, a slider, but it's a slider along a path. Once again, the power of all of this stuff, though, is that it is a path that the people can change. So now here we are dragging it along a path that is changed. And this, by the way, control click, control click. Whoosh. Whoosh. The people can change this. And I'll add another one there. Do -dunk. Wow. And if you don't want that kind, control click. Uh, what is that kind? Oh, I didn't mean to control click. I meant to double click that. Change the control types. Here's a pointy angle one. <laughs> this is not, not looking like a very good path at all. We'll bring it in and we'll try and get some pointy angles. Let's see what happens with this pointy angle. Are you ready? Animate. Boing. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And now we animate, throw it, boop, boop, and pick it up and boing it off, right? <laughs> boing, -da boing, -da. fun, huh? Okie dokie, pokies. Let's see how this was done in, in code then. Slow down that animation. Interactive path animations, that's what we're talking about. And we're dragging along that in Zim 9. You should check out some of the other bubblings if uh, if you're just jumping into this. The other bubblings will, will lay the grounds to some of this. There's also earlier bubblings talking about uh, recording paths and bringing paths in. So at some point we recorded a path. It's not too much to do it. There's it's what we had to record that path at some point. We're also starting to show a bunch of paths. Let's just see. Oh, not, I'm trying to avoid saying the word just. So let's see where we can find that. And back on the Zim site here, or the Zim Neo site, there's Pizzazz 4. So we can, this is the latest path that I'm reviewing. Andy made this path for me. Uh, dare I even bring that path in? You know, I'm, I'm not sure. I want to try and drag it. Should we try it? It looks like a challenge. Huh? So here is the path. Uh, it's called, I can't remember what it is. We'll copy that. And we'll then come back into our code here. And instead of the data of that nice simple path, We will paste the new path. Bum, bum, bum. I can't remember what he called that path. And, and let's see what happens. Maybe we should increase the time a little bit to uh, 6,000 to go along that path. And we uh, view this in a browser. So open a browser. <laughs> All right. There we go. I haven't tried this. So I didn't know if it was going to work. Oh, the path is slightly smaller than, than I expected. 
I mean, there it is. If the if the path is slightly smaller than expected, then you can increase the scale on it. So where did we make that path here? Uh, based on that data, dot ska, dot ska, we'll make it twice as big, twice as big. And again, maybe we can use a bit of extra time there on that. Uh, move it to 20 seconds, I don't know. That might be too long. We increase the scale of that. There it is twice as big. We might want to move that down as well. When we make a path, it, um, the outline of it, note that it's getting bigger as it comes closer. That's kind of neat. Let's stop the animations. <laughs> see what the, what, when we're animating it to the path here, that, that might be tricky. Take a look at the path. As we animate, if we're very careful, we can make sure that we don't cross animation. See how I'm dragging along there and we're careful? But the problem is, is as we went to cross that point, this up here becomes the closer part of it. So an animation with this many crossing points, what we do to check when we drag, we check to, to see if it's on any of the adjacent segments. There are no, now if I'm here, this, this might be an adjacent segment. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that's a little bit scribbly <laughs> to uh, to animate along, but it it, uh, it animates along fine. But to drag it, you're we're going to be running into cross paths a fair bit, so we might want to be a little bit more careful there. <laughs> Fun though, <laughs> it worked it worked just fine. Now I'll undo them and we'll go back to our more simple path. Oh no, I can't undo. Oh well, that that should be it. I'll do this again. There we are on a simple path. All right, let's see how we uh, actually did the code to drag that. Here is the path that we made. Okay, we got that far. We're, we've got some bubble. We're locating it, that bubble. We don't have to do this anymore. I think the, the animation will do that. So at, at one point we were wanting to make sure that we located the path at the first point of it. Or sorry, that we located the bubble at that. I believe we don't need that anymore. Let's try her. Yeah, so you see we restart there. So now Zim Animate automatically will start you off on the first point. We're animating along the path. We're not orientating. Or orienting. <laughs> orientating, orienting. Uh, we're just leaving it facing, uh, well, I don't know that normal direction, so we're not changing it. If we did change the orientation true, then that bubble would look uh, a, little, <laughs> a little bit different. <laughs> there is quite quite a different looking bubble. Uh, right. Now that's only because of the way that uh, the path is facing. So um, to do, to do this properly, we would want to maybe uh, start off with a rotation. So if you just, not just, but if you put a rotation in here, dot rote of 45. Is it 45 or 90? We might need 90. Sure, refresh here. It's getting better. <laughs> so there's our orientation. It's a matter of, of initial direction. So you can adjust your initial direction and then that along with orientation will work there. So we're not orienting that, false. We're not flipping it either if we want to flip that to true. Uh, do we want to flip it? Hi, can you imagine what this is gonna look like flipped? Now I'm going back up. Hey, see you later. Eh, flipping's not too bad, huh? And then as it changes direction, it flips. So remember, it doesn't just flip here at the end. I sort of like the flip. You like the flip? Yeah, whatever. It's up to you. And here we are. Uh, do you remember what that one's called? That's Zim Extra. So Zoom, what we're doing is setting the scale of our object by default. It's the current object. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you zoom it, assume it has to be uh, 
if you use extra, you can choose not to be. But anyway, this is the current object and we're zooming at that range. What we did is we made zoom first and then we made another one and then we made another one and then we made another one and we looked at these and said, oh, these are really cool names. We've got zoom, we've got fade, uh, what was the other one, depth or something like that. And so it was all kind of speed. These were cool names to be able to control from this. And then we said, wow, the code to do this is kind of all the same. Maybe we could apply a more general way of approaching this. They're all just really using the proportion. This is in proportion in the background. So we abstracted the specifics and came up with just a general form format for that and called that extra. And we decided to scrap these ones. Now nah, we won't, you know, why give those things? We can all put it into extra and, and just do the scale. And, uh, and then we, we looked at it and went, I oh, you know, this isn't quite as easy looking as just doing a quick array. So now we've kept both. We call these convenience properties, zoom and depth, and, and those are convenience properties that you could make with the full blown extra, but now we don't have to. We can use the convenience properties to change that. Neat, huh? All right. So that didn't say anything about the drag. There's the drag. That's what we do to be able to drag along and animate. Drag, call and true. Now we can drag that thing. Start uh, paused. If you if you want to just uh, start paused true. If you want to uh, start paused, <laughs> there it is starting paused. And, and, and what you're doing now is dragging along the path. You can turn the path on so the people can follow the path. And never, never animate it. Just drag along the path. That's up to you. Uh, by the way, if, if we were to turn that on, we need to make our checkbox be the opposite way. Anything else? Not really. Our checkbox is saying whether you want the path to be visible. Set it to whatever's checked. Our animate checked bubble.pause animate is equal to the animate checkbox, the opposite of it. So this is a checkbox, and we're setting whether we want to pause the animate to the opposite. Oh, yeah, double negative working here. We want to um, set the paused animate to not the checked of the checkbox. Woot, woot, woo. What do you think? Are you happy about the drag? Did you have parallax here? Do you feel like digging into that? Uh, I have dinner on the way. I don't know. 6.30. I'm getting hungry. Why don't we come back for the parallax example in another bubbling? Because we do have to look at parallax as well as pizzazz 4 and perhaps a quick look at the corners. All right. Extra. So, uh, oh, sorry. We used a bit of extra inside of drag. Um, so if you like that, what you saw with extra, come on back and make sure you see the bubbling for extra. And the controls and all those things. Lovely. This is Dan Zen, inventor and uh, Dr. Abstract, otherwise known as Dr. Abstract, here at Zim. All the best. Have a great night or a day. And uh, leave some comments. Leave some likes. Come on in. Join us in Slack. Uh, Zimjs.com slash Slack, we'd love to hear from you. Ciao.